सो वेलकम टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉज द फर्स्ट टू वीडियोज द फर्स्ट वॉज अबाउट इंटर्नशिप जॉब सर्च एंड द सेकंड वॉज अबाउट सर्वाइवल गाइड इन जर्मनी ही हैज ऑलरेडी लिव्ड इन जर्मनी फॉर मोर देन थ्री ईयर्स नाउ हीज डूइंग पी एच डी इन फ्रांस एंड बेल्जियम एंड यू कैन सी ऑल दो टू वीडियोज एंड दिस थर्ड वीडियो इज अबाउट द पी एच डी एप्लीकेशन इन यूरोप बिकॉज ही हैज अप्लाइड टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज लाइक फ्रांस बेल्जियम जर्मनी uh and currently he's uh, doing phd in both joint phd between france and belgium so maybe he can highlight in very brief the application process and his experiences of applying the application for phd in europe it will be very short and we'll leave all the details in the description below and do contact him if you need any help yeah so hi everyone and uh, phd applications so for phd applications what you need is a cover letter like that of job and thesis and internship that you can see from the first video mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you need a cv generally they need 120 ects or the european credit system as they say mm -hmm. uh, 120 is normally the threshold that they need uh, for as and a, you can check probably this video will come after one or two months but you can check some of this discussion also we discussed in the live stream which was discussed back on 3rd so, of november yeah yeah so you can check it in the info card i'll link it so there you will find all that because this will be very short like to the point the main things we'll touch upon the main things yes and uh, so you should have 120 ects mm -hmm. when you have 120 ects and then you should have a cv where it's mentioned what what courses you had what are the relevant skills you have and it should not be more than two pages okay and you should have uh, sometimes they ask uh, sometimes they ask for a pro not even a proposal it's like yeah you can say it is a proposal or something like a statement or purpose mm. sop, SOP, yeah. SOP uh, i mean sop sometimes you call it here as a motivation letter anything anything like that mm. so you can use it um, you can use it and you they will always have a guideline that what should what should be the content of that letter mm. and also the letter of recommendations and any public uh, and copy of any publications you have and let me tell you publications are not is will not give it will give will give, give an you, edge uh, yeah give you an edge but it will not be uh, it it's is not compulsory deciding factor or mandatory or something uh, yeah it's not mandatory it's not a compulsory can be a deciding factor can at be. the end but uh, yeah well it's not uh, compulsory i would say and uh, the next thing in pst is that normally when you do all these applications is done you give your transcript of records lor the letter of recommendations cover letter statement of purpose cv generally when you have done this so in 2 to 3 weeks they will call you if you are selected and they will let you know that okay so we may have a skype interview or something like that so every time i was called for an interview the first step was always a skype interview skype interview yeah, same here in netherlands also so it was a skype interview and once you do a skype interview and then when you get selected they will call you for an personal interview so i went to belgium to for a personal interview for this phd mm -hmm. and uh, yes and don't worry they will pay pay your travel fees and if you yeah, want, yeah. Oh, yeah, all the compensations will be paid to you yeah all the expenses will be paid so nothing nothing to be worried so it's always good to be comfortable during the mm -hmm. travel and don't be like thinking to yeah, save yeah. money it's no use and uh, yes so that's how it uh, how it goes and so if you are selected in skype then the the on campus uh, interview yeah it's like you go to the campus of the university and then they will take an interview so in my case the interview was like i went and i gave a presentation so the five was uh, about five your thesis or it was something about so the topic or applying so for proposal was, so the presentation was uh, basically um, amalgam amalgamation amalgamation yeah, combination know. yeah it is the combination basically to keep it simple and uh, so it's like 50% of my master thesis okay and 50% of what i understand from the phd topic okay so they the, the, it's pretty much same in netherlands also so they want to expect how you can summarize what you have done before and how you can summarize what you are going to apply or what was your idea and how link it to this yeah exactly so after that they will ask some questions yes they ask so regarding there are certain questions like uh, why you want to do bst they won't ask like that but they will always have ask similar questions so similar questions can be like uh, okay how uh, what you want to do in research what is the area of research why did you choose this research mm -hmm. field or mm -hmm. something like that and can be the discussions can be the technical ones so they will ask oh do you know this xyz subject or xyz phenomenon or xyz law and so you will always have to have an answer but 
it's all it's okay if you don't know it don't it's no need to fake it no need to fake it because if you fake it then it creates a wrong impression okay. no need to fake it if you don't know it you don't know because you better I, to admit that yeah, you don't know yeah, instead exactly. of trying to make up something yeah, yeah exactly so it's always good to be genuine mm-hmm. and uh, always portray your genuine figure so yeah that's the application and any one line or two line you want to say about your experience like the rejection or ex- i mean we'll make a rejection series later in 2020 but here we just yeah uh, so for the rejections one experience. let me tell you that you will receive a lot of rejections this doesn't mean that you have a bad bad profile or it's not adequate for the market mm. it's just because it is someone is more has a profile which is more relatable to the job advertisement yeah, that's true. It, it, it never means that you don't have a good profile so never try to, don't be depressed or don't be so I, that's why i would say like uh, as you said like the thumb rule will be to apply more or yeah. maybe apply starting early if you are planning for a phd after six months or 12 months or something like that yeah then you have you maximize your chances because you hit on different yeah uh, places and yeah exactly exactly so it's always good to be sure about mm-hmm. what are the subjects you want to do up your research on and then uh, you can find out it's always difficult to go for professors mailing mm-hmm. them because normally professors don't mail you back instantly yeah, yeah. or even not in a week or it will take some time so it's always good to go for advertisements apply mm-hmm. wait for results total duration okay. of the process takes like two two months or something like that yeah okay uh, so thank you everyone for watching the video i hope it helped you and you also heard the bell of the oven because all the video series is coming to an end this is the signal yeah and i uh, hope that uh, you also like to participate in this and thank you for giving your time no problem yes and yes, we'll have future videos also when i travel to his place or he comes again in 2020 so stay tuned for all these videos maybe we'll have some videos in skype also depending on our busy schedule when we're free yeah. do sh- smash the like button if you like this video don't forget to share this video among your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet so that you keep getting this content about studying and living in Europe, Netherlands, Germany, Belgium and other places. Yep. Thank you very much. So till next video. See you. Bye bye. Peace out.